So uh, this one is a message to the ID of police. The ID of police, Federal Republic of Nigeria. This message is for you. You see this protest uh, coming up on the 1st of August, 2024. Do your job. Do your job. And uh, ensure that no police, your men, eh, ensure that they are not carrying life, um, life, uh, life uh, bullets. You understand? Ensure they are not carrying life bullets. Because you know why I'm saying this thing, eh? One person, if one soul, one soul by in this uh, this protest, one soul by, you see that policeman that will be responsible for that soul. One light and light, one boro baze mo bishi hargi dan shi mo chukuru ubanshi. Can I go? One light and light, eh? Barre se de Allah. If one person, one person go down, eh? That policeman responsible for that soul, eh? Barre se de Allah. Zemo bishi hargi dan shi. You understand? So this one is a peaceful protest and it's for everybody because we all are in this mess together. Everybody there inside this mess together. So do your job. Do your job. Nigerians are not going out to tumble Nigeria. We are going to demand for our right to save us. To save you too. You cannot say your salary cannot pay your two-pence school fees. Cannot even buy you a bag of rice, cannot even buy a bag of garlic, cannot even buy a bag of semo. And you are a police officer and you are a military man. You be Air Force, you be Navy, you be civil defense. You deserve this country. Rain go fall for your head. Sun, they shine, now your head. Bandits, they come, now you. Thief, they come, now you. At the end of the day, you cannot even afford a bag of rice. No be shame to you. I swear on my life, if you try and say one person, go down under you. You be, now you be the highest. I'm not saying that you be the highest mumu. The highest mumu living on earth. But apart from saying the mumu, we will mark your face. We will find him. We will find him. And what he did to that person, we will do it to him. This is not 2020. Femina. Everybody is in this mess together. Nigerians are going out to redeem them, to, to save this country from, from where this country has never been before. I'm telling you, travel out, go abroad and see Nigerians, leaving Nigeria to go and become cleaners to go and become a security man i'm talking about barristers lawyers doctors leaving nigeria to go to another man's country and be cleaners and be working in restaurants all this is because nigeria is in a mess and who are responsible for this mess you people politicians and i believe you two officers police officers and co eh? You too, you admit that this country is in a mess. You know, your salaries cannot do anything for you. Your salaries cannot do anything for you. That is why most of you people have engaged in crime activity, committing crime. Nobody is seeing it. Oh. Your salaries cannot do nothing for you. You have three children, you can't pay their school fees with your salary. And you are working as a police officer. And you are a military man. That is why most of them and find they, they go into crime, committing crime, committing crime. Now, Nigerians who walk out to the street to save you, to redeem you, to save your family too. You will go there because of one, one, ten thousand, they will give you after. You will carry, if you do it, eh? see, at the town and now, every police and soldier at the town and now, if you do them, if you do them, if one soul go down, they will mark your face. You go mark your face. And you see that soul go down, you, you go give account of that soul so do your job is a peaceful protest we are not going out to tumble nigeria no we are going to demand our rights we are suffering nigerians are suffering you too as a police officer you are suffering your salary can do nothing for you i bet you you know every now and then a policeman is arrested caught in kidnapping a number of a soldier man is arrested, caught in this or that. A, a, a civil defense is caught in this. All because your salaries can do nothing in us in Nigeria. The country that you serve, the country that you are ready to give your blood for. So make sure as you are going out there. I see you people are 10 steps ahead. Hmm? Preparing ahead of something that is still 10 days old. You guys are already putting out these things to scare Nigerians from protesting. We are protesting. And I'm so pained. I'm ashamed of so many bloggers or so many of these, uh, what they call it, influencers that had 3 million, 4 million. All, all they know is content. This, this, this. 
It is now to save Nigeria or never. Hmm. A word they say is enough for the wise. We have all heard what our brother have said, the message he have sent to the ID of um, police. You see, one thing I don't understand there is why our police officer or even our military will decide to go and attack civilians or go with live bullets in a peaceful protest. That is one thing me, I will not understand. And the uh, one thing Nigerians will not understand. But uh, let's just watch out and see how it goes. Because this is Nigeria. Anything can happen. Because we live in a country where these people, they don't have respect for human life. Police don't have respect for human life at all. They don't respect Nigerians as citizens. It's like they and the politicians, they own this country. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. I, I have, I have uh, had an experience with them. Um, a police officer um, recently uh, very very soon I will share that story and then so we can we can learn and then try to create awareness and let the government know how their officers people that are supposed to be protecting the life and properties of uh, Nigerians how they are behaving and the things they do but the only thing I'll ask us to do at this moment is that we should pray for our country Nigeria let us pray for Nigeria because you have heard what our brother have said. Let us pray that God should help that everything should go as planned. Everything should be peaceful. That should know that, that like we don't want to see any form of casualty. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want anybody to be hurt, and we don't want to hurt anybody. This should just be a, the peaceful protest that it is designed to be. It it, it should just just be that. You see what happened in 2022 is still fresh in the mind and the minds and hearts of many. So if I am the government, they should not let that what happened in 2022 repeat itself. They should not let it repeat itself because that was an I saw what happened. It was shameful. It was shameful. So in a civilized country, if people are going out to protest, the police and the military, they give them security. They ensure that everything goes well. But it is not like that in Nigeria. But our brother have sent a message it is not left for them to listen or decide not to listen but it is good that the message has been passed so let us pray for our country nigeria let us pray for for peace and unity let us pray that god touch the heart of these people so that they will do the right thing and make the right decision because at the end of the day nigeria is not your own nigeria is not their own nigeria is our own so they should stop acting as if they own us. They should stop acting as if they own Nigerians. Nigeria is our own. They are not more Nigerians than us. So it is important for them to understand these things, that people are not happy with the way things are going. So the worst thing they can do at this point is to kill or shoot at anybody or any civilian or any, any Nigerian. That will be the worst thing they will do. So I I, mean, I preach peace and I want peace. I want Nigeria to experience peace because we don't need anything that is going to compound what we are already facing. Nigerians are going through a lot. So we don't need anything that is going to compound all those things to anything that is going to add to what we are already going through. So we want to appeal to the IG of police do the right thing talk to your boys do the right thing we need peace in nigeria all nigeria is asking for nigerians are actually asking for is for a better government is for things to be better in the country that is all nigerians are asking for they are not asking for trouble they're not they are not asking for any other thing we just want the country to be in order and i don't think that is too much to, uh, to ask because even then the police i don't know how much they pay them I don't know if it is enough, but I, I doubt that that is enough because, uh, in fact, I don't think they pay them enough. And anything that happens in this protest, good one, if, if the protest turns out very well, they are going to benefit. So I see no reason why they will come out there and then to start shooting at the civilians and citizens and all the rest. So please, IG and then the our generals and what, what, what and army please you people should try for once 
to do the right thing give nigerians the protection they need and i'm sure that this protest is going to be smooth and peaceful thank you so much for watching the video please do have to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you'll be notified if you're a returning subscriber i want to say thank you to you thank you for stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support please do me a favor share the video also share that platform share with your friends and all those god bless you as you do so i'll see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you what I am by the grace of God. As long as that grace does not fail, Satan will never fail. This revival you see will not be aborted.